All right, all right. It is time for your pop break today. Ellen DeGeneres addressed accusations of a toxic workplace in a way that only Ellen can, with humor, of course. Three producers were fired over those accusations. Here's what Ellen said on her season premiere this afternoon. As you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. And then there was an investigation. I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. I take that very seriously, and I want to say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. I know that I'm in a position of privilege and power, and I realize that with that comes responsibility, and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. We have had a lot of conversations. So far, reactions have been split with some saying this is how you do a real apology, and others saying they're still hesitant to support the show. But Jay, here's the thing, for those saying they're still hesitant to support the show and they don't like her apology, they had to watch the show to hear it, so yeah. they're still supporting her. It's interesting. Um, she, the point that she made that really stood out to me, Romney, was she said that she's branded herself as the kind lady, and she explained why. There was a young man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who committed suicide after being bullied, and she just thought that it was going to be part of her moniker to remind people all people to yep. be kind and she says in doing so sometimes we're human so is she she slipped and she she made a funny joke and said be careful if you're looking to rebrand yourself i would stay away from the kind lady moniker it's a right. tough label to live up to she seemed sincere to me um we'll see moving forward um, here's the thing i always funny. say any any mega mogul like that you can't really think they're nice 100 percent of the time her business is her show. Her show is her brand, and her brand is her. So yeah. although she is nice, I believe when she had to lay down the law, she would do what needs to be done. But that doesn't excuse, excuse toxic behavior that was reported. So there is a difference between being tough, being firm, being a pushover, being mean, and toxic. And so I think she was no trying question. to toe that line. Yeah, no All question. right, here's what else is popping today. We can't say that the show's <laughs> name on air because it has a swear word in it, but we can say it rhymes with Pitt's Creek. You feel me? You know the show. Okay. Well, it swept the comedy category at the 72nd Emmys last night. Father-son duo Eugene and Dan Levy won Best Lead and Supporting Actor, respectively. They won nine total awards, including Best Comedy. Hmm. And the nice other big winner was, unsurprisingly, HBO's Watchmen. That show, I told you about it, Jay, it's incredible, took home 11 yeah. awards in the overall limited series category. The hit show Succession also won big in the drama category with seven trophies. Last week tonight with John Oliver claimed four statues. And Zendaya, along with the cast of Euphoria, brought home three more. And at just 24 years old, Jay, she made history as the youngest winner ever in the best lead actress in a drama category. Jay, that's pretty big because she actually beat out people like Jennifer Aniston, Olivia Coleman, Sandra Oh, and Laura Linney, who've all been acting for longer than she's actually been alive. Yeah, pretty crazy. That was a surprise. I got to tell you, um, I... I find myself during these times of the Emmy announcements for TV mm -hmm. so out of it because I don't really stream a lot. I know how to do it. I, I have the capacity Jay, I to do it. I told you about Watchmen. I, I told know you it's you incredible. Did. I know, and I have to catch up on it. But what's amazing is network television gets completely shut out. And all of the awards are going to the Netflix and I mean, the streamers of the world. But their content is so good. It's good. It, it is, is good. There's no question about it. And I appreciated just... it during the pandemic because a lot of us had extra time and I was I was streaming. I was watching it. Yeah, well, that's what the kids are doing these days. I'm, I'm old school. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm still using around You're my You're adjusting your remote. rabbit ears on your TV. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. not that old school. <laughs> it's just I feel out of touch when I'm streaming Okay. because... Should anything big happen news-wise, they're not going to break in that program and tell me about it like they would True. if I was watching one of the network point. channels. You got now, a point. I have social media to keep me up to date on all that, but I'm That's old why you got to stream and watch on your phone at the same time. There's a whole strategy, Jay. <laughs> oh.